you wouldn't have thought back then everyone was going well in Armagh and um, well, number one it shows you how competitive Ulster is again and, and trying to get out of that on the minefields that exist there um, but if ever there's a lesson for reward for perseverance it, it will be handed to, to Kieran McGinney because you recall at the end of last year there was um, there was rumblings in Armagh and a lot of clubs in Armagh thought it, it was time for change um, but uh, McGinney's most notable back in the end was from his players and those that were involved and I think you can see that if, uh, from the four teams that's left the team with the strongest panel in my opinion is, is Armagh and the, the most difficult part of managing an inter-county team at the minute is, is holding on to your fringe players. It's okay when you're in the first 18, you're guaranteed getting games throughout the National League, but to carry, carry a big panel for players but in that amount of effort and commitment and see very little action, well, the easy way out is always to, to go back to the club and get playing football because that's what everybody wants to do is get playing on the park. So um, those players have remained very loyal to McGinney. Um, so there's a lot of things being done. He's a great backroom team there, obviously, as well. So there's a lot of things going right in Armagh behind the scenes that, that very few people know about. And I think that's now, he's now, McGinney's now getting his reward on the field to play with really strong performances. And, uh, you know, if you look back at the last few years, Jack, I know it's a long time since they got the semi final, but my God, they've come very close. Yeah. And as, you know, penalties more than anything else has been their the heartache. So, the, in fairness, they have been knocking on the door and, and they're very entitled to be where they are at the minute. Yeah, I tell you, if they're not practicing 